Yeah. Ooh, he's been really good. Um, when he goes, you know, a lot of times we score a lot of runs, and he creates a lot of, a lot of havoc on the bases, and just an outstanding job by him tonight. Our whole offense just making Simone work tonight. Um, we didn't score a lot of runs in the first two innings, but he threw a ton of pitches, and it eventually caught up to him. Could you imagine being a home run shy of the cycle in yeah. the inning? <laughs> you know, I, I, I wanted to pull him out of the game, but because he had the opportunity to do it, you know, we left him in there. Um, uh, it's too bad it didn't happen, but he'll have to do it another day. Alex, a lot of runs batted in again yeah. today. With him and that spot in the lineup and the production that he's been able to give you, could you imagine this lineup without him in it? Uh, well, I mean, it, it would be a void, um, what he's done in the middle of the order. And it's not just driving, you know, runs in. It's getting on base and, and having long at bats and driving pitch counts up. And um, the respect that he gets is, you know, pitchers sometimes pitch around him. He gets on base and Texas hits two run homers. With the outing Evaldi had last time, for him to get that run support, especially early, how much pressure do you think that took off of him? Well, I'm that? sure it helped a little bit, but I thought his stuff was pretty good again tonight. Um, you know, he had a bad start in Miami. Uh, you can look for a lot of reasons. Uh, he didn't make his pitches, but it, tonight he made his pitches against a tough lineup. Ryan. And then Kenny, Ryan, you could just pass it back. I was uh, Tashera and Mason Williams. Do you have any update on either? To share, to did he come out? I thought he, he might have well, hit the yeah, wall. Oh yeah, we were up uh, twelve. It had nothing to do with him hitting the wall. No, 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 no. Okay, no. All right, Mason Williams. Just uh, you know, it's what it is. It popped out, it popped back in, and you know, we're hoping it'll only be three or four days, and he'll be back in the lineup. Kenny, Joe, was, you have all his last start. Uh, you had lost five to six at that point, and you were concerned about another downward roller coaster slide. How? Uh, encouraged are you by the, this bounce yeah. back? You well, it's it? you know we've we've done it a few times uh, this year, and you know, we've started to play much better at home, and now we've had our struggles on the road. So the good thing is we have more games at home than we do on the road. Um, you know, like I said, we're always looking for consistency, and um, we lost some tough games on the road. Uh, I think we lost a two to one and and some other tough ones, but it's nice to bounce back and be able to win four games in a row, and you do what you can tomorrow. Do you feel like you're achieving a, a kind of a greater consistency? It was essentially a bad week you had there. Yeah, I, I, I do. I think we've been more consistent uh, the last three or four weeks, and, and that's what you're striving for. You can pass it behind you to Tyler, Kenny. <laughs> or Joe, what were your emotions like in that pregame ceremony when uh, Mel Stoudemire came out and got the plaque? Well, it's pretty hard not to get choked up um, in a situation like that because of – you know, the hours that I spent with Mel and the personal relationship I had that a catcher has with a pitching coach and how important he was to our team. And Mel was one of the most optimistic uh, people that I've ever, person that I've ever been around. Um, you know, you could, you could be getting lit up and, and as a pitcher, and he was always there to, to encourage and to teach. Um, I used to joke with him. I, I would tell him sometimes, maybe you should take me out. Um, or change my fingers, um, but it, it it was really nice. I, I think it, it was a wonderful day um, because Willie meant a lot to me too, um, as as well as Mel. Um, I talked about always being in Willie's hitting group and and how Willie was always upbeat and had a positive attitude and always smiling. And, and those guys meant a lot to our club, the club that won a lot of games. They had important positions: an infield instructor, a third base coach, and a pitching coach. Um, and it was great. Mel had no idea. Um, I think he had thought they had forgot him um, because he was going to be the last one, and it was just a wonderful day. Anybody else? Barry. What do you think about how Gregorius is starting to pick it up? Well, I mean, this has been going on for about a month now. We've seen an uptick in his game all the way around, and uh, I think he's just playing like he's capable of playing. It's an adjustment period uh, here, and and this is a young young shortstop uh, that has not ever been given a job or played every day in the big leagues, and that's an adjustment too. But I think he's handling it well. In the back, go ahead. Uh, Beltran, the two home runs tonight. Um, it seems like every time the question pops up, you know, does he still have it? He does. How important yeah. was it, you know, to see that well, again? It's tonight? great to see him contribute. You think about what he's done the last three or four days, the big hits that he's had. Um, he's been a big part of our offense. Dan. 
talked a lot about Alex struggling when he's approached milestones in the past and you know he pretty much raced to 3,000 and continued that tonight. Do you think he's almost thriving on this attention and the spotlight that seems to be on him this time around? I, I, I just think he's thriving on being back in the game, something that was almost taken away. And, I, and, I, and you know, sometimes you know, we get up and we can take some things for granted. It, just getting up every day we take for granted. And, and sometimes when you go through some scares, you come back much more relaxed and happy and, and know how lucky you are to be able to put a uniform on. And I think he's thriving off of that.